Smallpox, the disease that killed millions. I'm in Guillemations, and on my channel, Stefan Milo and I will be discussing smallpox in the West, while in this video, I'll be talking about these continents. Enjoy! Smallpox likely began in humans in about 10,000 BC, though the initial epidemic was in ancient Egypt about five millennia ago. Skipping past many, many cases, we get to a second massive pandemic, the Plague of Athens. Almost 75,000 people died in 10 months. The Antonine Plague in Rome was also probably caused by smallpox and had a death toll of over 5 million. These cases cannot be definitely classified as smallpox, but they most likely were. But how did this disease kill millions? Well, mostly by contact with an infected individual. See, almost all people at that point had no medical knowledge, so they didn't know that when someone becomes sick and dies, touching the body might not be the best idea. Do that with millions of people and you have an epidemic. Though we mostly now have knowledge on how diseases travel between people, many people up until the 1970s still got sick and died because of smallpox. Outbreaks. Many spates of this disease continued. The initial case that we know of definitely was in ancient India. Ancient texts mention the existence of the sickness and it subsequently continued through the next millennia. This also happened in China with the Xi'an dynasty. Back to the West and this chap gave finally a definitive case of smallpox in about 910 AD. He noted that the disease was not the same as measles and was a somewhat common disease in the East. The Middle East specifically had had many epidemics leading up to about 650. This is when it expanded into Spain and eventually England. One nation that has had many epidemics that most would not associate with the disease is Iceland. The biggest was in 1707 when close to 57,000 people died. 